Now, one of the things that people tend to find a little bit tricky when they first start to use watercolours is kind of get the mixes right, whether it's going to be watery, milky, creamy or thick, you know, for the, for the paint consistency. So this is very quickly how I do this and the way I tend to look at things. So if I get an old mixing brush, which is an old acrylic one, even the paint's come off the handle here, use that for mixing, use a very old brush you're doing all your mixing work with, because one thing you don't want to do is damage the bristles or the tip of a very decent little tiny brush like that. So when you look at something like this, I want to mix this to probably, as I say, like a, like a creamy consistency, but it depends on which water you add. So if I'm going to add just one or two drops of water, let's just put one in each one there. Now that's really going to thin it down. And the more water you add, the lighter or the paler the colour will be as well. So for example, if I just get a, one of my test sheets here, you can see on this particular one, it's quite pale, it's not too bad, it's like a mid-tone. But when I add more water to that blue, you find it's much lighter, much, much lighter, even though that's the same colour. So bear that in mind. So what you need to remember to do is that add more pigment and less water. And you can always get darker as you go along as well. And you have to remember as well that all paint tends to dry a little bit lighter once it's dried on your watercolour paper. So this will dry lighter than it looks at the moment. So sometimes you have to think, well, maybe I need to go that a little bit darker to begin with. Not necessarily. What I'd recommend in that situation is you can always put another layer over the top once it's bone dry. It's got to be bone dry. Remember that. Okay. So that's basically like a, a milky, watery, milky consistency kind of in between the two there. That's how thin that is. However, if I get some more paint, bear with me on it's off camera, and thicken it down, Oh, that's really thick. Now you can see the consistency of that. So that really is like a creamy consistency. So I'll give you some ideas on the different consistencies from watery, milky, creamy, and if you want to really go for it, thick. Okay, so that gives you some ideas. So that's a little bit about mixing colors, but actually kind of getting the right consistency of the color. Oh, and by the way, at this same mixing, if I get another color, Let's say we'll go for, you know, it's off camera, a lizard crimson. That now gives me a nice purple. So that's kind of changed the flavour a little bit more. Bit of a purple hint to it. We can go even more. So that's gone purple again. There we go. So playing with the colours and see what colours you've got within your palette. So when you look at my palette here, you can see I've got a variety of colours here. And I always make a, like a colour swatch. So I can see exactly what I've got, just at a glance. And uh, it's about playing with the colours and see what colours you can make from the ones that you've got. Okay, so that's a little bit about mixing colours and also consistency of paint. So until next time around, I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.